Daly has question number nine, so Tipsy Daly to introduce this issue. Thanks, Kim Corla. Minister, I'm aware you discussed this issue or aspects of it as part of the um, uh, priority orals, and I'm also aware that the traditional response is to say that the EPA is examining the whole fracking process and that nothing will be done before their investigations are concluded. However, I would say to you that in the context of when they come back in 2016, by that time, the TTIP will be in place, the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, and whatever decisions the EPA make at that stage can potentially be overruled, and our state, if the state is interested in protecting its citizens and the environment, could be brought to court by the likes of Chevron and so on. So I'd like you to maybe deal with that aspect in relation to why we need to now withdraw the fracking licences. Thank you. Uh, Minister Mr. What I'm responding to is the actual question she asked. The further information you're looking for answers to, I will get for you as soon as possible. Uh, but I think the key point is, as you say, that nothing can happen in this country at the very earliest until at least the EPA report comes in. And that will be, as you say, will be 2016. And at that stage then, it will be a matter for the government of the day. And it will not be this present government because it will be in a new electoral cycle then to decide what will happen. Uh, but I just want to reassure you that there are no, ex and I know you acknowledge that now, I don't mean now in a rude sense, but there are no fracking licenses in existing now. There are options given by the previous government to three companies, and those options exist, but they don't allow them to do any fracking. They have to wait for the due process in relation to that. So, uh, But I'd be happy to get the response to the other second part of your question that you raised with me today Thank you. as soon as possible. Deputy Day, Claire Daly. I think this is the key thing. The Minister says and has said previously that nothing can happen. Um, this is in response to the growing concerns about the environmental problems to do with fracking and the widespread opposition which is taking place really in every European country where it's been proposed and certainly across the United States. The point that has to be registered here is that given discussions that are underway in relation to the transatlantic uh, agreement, if that is signed into, it has within it a uh, safeguards really to protect corporate investments over the rights of citizens and the environment. And the fracking issue is really being teed up in this regard to rob from states the ability to protect themselves if you want to see that through in the free future. Because what it would do, in essence, is um, give companies more rights than governments. And what is being sought here, if you're genuinely serious about protecting the environment and protecting people in relation to fracking, then this clause in the TTIP agreement um, must be excluded. The clause which uh, has an investor state uh, dispute settlement rights has to be taken out of the agreement because already we see governments being taken to court by multinational corporations on the basis of a loss of profits or a loss of potential Thank profits you, when those governments put in place regulations to protect their citizens and the environment and well, I can guarantee you unless that is withdrawn if a future Irish government seeks to, pr to protect its citizens from fracking we will be brought to court by multinational corporations for billions the deputy, uh, and I think on that basis yeah. we should cease the options now before can it's I, too late. Can I just be very clear again that the question that you ask is a question I'm answering. The new question you're asking now I will be happy to get an answer to it. My colleague and myself, have a, we don't believe it's part of our actual brief right now, but it's a very important question. I'll get you a full answer to it. Okay, I want to reassure you on that. And I just want to repeat again that there will be no fracking taking place in this country for the duration of this particular government.